Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Soko and I'm filming another sit down video for you today. So today it's gonna be all about gift ideas under 50 euro mark in the beauty and makeup category. Usually such videos are called like gift guide for hair, but I did not want to mark it like this because obviously if you're a guy and want to use those skincare and makeup items for yourself, you're more than welcome to be on this channel and take inspirations. Um, so. I wanted to cluster this kind of videos in terms of like categories like I do it right now. Today it's gonna be about the beauty and makeup and next what I'm planning to film is gonna be about the homeware goodies and the third one overall gift guide for the holiday season. So stay tuned and stay on board. Let me know what you would love to see as of a next. Also, I set a margin for myself on the 50 euro because I know a lot of people out there consider this an appropriate amount to give someone a gift in this price um, range. Uh, but if it is too little, let me know as well in the comment section below. I'm gonna increase that on the next one to 100 because obviously with 100 you have a lot more possibilities. That being said, I picked very very good quality items as a, in my wish list for this video um, and it's something it's not very little amount either one thing more uh, i obviously have quite a lot of beauty and makeup items but did not want to talk about what i already own because i've discussed it in my um, other videos and for the people who are coming on this channel on a weekly basis i did not want it to be repetitive I discussed the new Charlotte Tilbury makeup items in my previous vlog, which I'm gonna link somewhere here. And if you want to check those out, please go ahead and see. I've done a few um, dedicated beauty related videos as well. Um, stay on board and subscribe. I'm gonna be very, very happy to see you on here. That being said, everything what I'm gonna discuss in this video is sort of a genuine wish list even for myself. So what I would wish for myself, that's what I'm recommending. I've done research and I stand behind those items 100%. Now let's get started. So the first pick of mine is from Tom Ford Beauty line. You guys probably know that every single winter before the holiday season, Tom Ford Beauty brings out their winter soleil collection, which is so, so good that I'm each year drooling over the items. Um, this year they have brought out the Frosty collection. It includes the eyeshadow palette, which is a little bit more pricier. That's why I do not end up on my list for today. And the, another one is the lip balm, which is called Frosty. Now I'm gonna include tons of pictures over here and the link in the comment section below so that you can see on your own how divine it looks straight from the tube. It looks like cartoon frozen in your life. I don't know if I would be able even to use that. It is so pretty. All you want to do is admire. I don't have the item, obviously, but I'm planning to get that for myself. Um, all the reviews and the videos that I've seen of people applying it, it has this iridescent pink undertone in the shimmery um, coat on the on the top which looks like a frosting on your lip but contradicts the idea of being a lip balm which in its essence is supposed to um, hydrate and soften your lips it costs 56 dollar and i could not find it anywhere else than on tom ford's web page itself it has the dusting sparkle on the exterior and the buttery sheer base with slight pink undertone as Tom mentioned earlier when applied on the lips. I've seen it on different skin colors applied and mostly it's like translucent color with really really little hint of giving shade to your lips um, which is brilliant in my opinion if you don't want to go on a bold lip um, look um, and if you're having like some nude eyeshadows on your eyes and then apply this um, iridescent frosty lip balm on your lips you're gonna look outstanding throughout the holiday season i know that a lot of people go for the red lipsticks but if you want to do something different but still have a statement on your lips i think this is the way to go bearing in mind that i already own two tom ford lipsticks and 100 percent standing behind the formula even their matte being very very soft and very creamy in comparison to all the other matte lipsticks that I've experienced. I can only imagine this uh, frosty lip balm being so comfortable on the lips and beautiful at the same time. So the second pick uh, for this video is the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil in travel size, which is 50 milliliter, not so little and costs a 40 euro. I picked the travel size because the full size, which is like 100 milliliter if I'm not mistaken, costs approximately 70 euro. That's a little bit over our budget for, for this particular video. Um, 
If you know Negin Mirzalehi, you definitely know her beautiful, beautiful, lush uh, locks. And that's what made her famous. Uh, she was from the day one advertising that no one else than her own mom uh, would touch and uh, do her hair in terms of coloring, caring, etc. Um, she, together with her dad, has a bee garden in Netherlands and then started the hairline. Obviously, everyone's aspiration is to have hair like hers um, uh, and goes ahead and buys her products. But apart from being um, influenced by her own beauty, um, this product has absolutely amazing uh, reviews everywhere that I've seen. It sells out in minutes um, in all the stores, wherever the Gizu is listed. So obviously she must be doing something right. And the bottle itself is masterpiece of beauty, in my opinion. If you know my Agenda GM, um, the Louis Vuitton one, and the inserts where I printed out all those pretty pictures that I love to look at, you would remember that I have um, Gizu honey oil bottle um, printed out as well. I really love the look of it and it would look divine on the vanity table or in your bathrooms. Um, thus, I am definitely planning to get my hands on this hair oil. I never really tried it beforehand, but it says to do wonders to uh, strengthen your hair and bring some moisture in your hair if you have it very, very dry. It is being used with multi-purpose, um, even while washing, when you mix it together with your hair mask, or um, as a pre-styling or finishing product. Uh, some of the people use it for um, overnight treatments as well. It is advertised as being cruelty-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, um, and thus you as a buyer have very, very clear conscience when getting that. As for the negative side, I would love to mention anyway that this product has fragrance. So if you have very itchy or irritated scalp, maybe that will not be really the best suited option for you. I know that fragrance is pretty well known irritant for skincare, maybe it's same for the scalp, so just to, for you to bear in mind. But other than that, I cannot say anything negative, negative about this item and I would be over the moon to get a gift like that for myself. So hopefully it's something for you too. The next product is from Gizu again um, and I really, really would love to get their hair mask. Their hair mask in the full size, which is like 250 milliliter, quite big, um, costs 51 euro and it is supposed to replenish, uh, give extra shine and hydrate your hair. Um, it is um, same way, based with honey as, in a, as a main formula, but has lots of other amino acids, antioxidants um, and vitamins in it to give um, all the glow and the vitamins to your scalp and hair, um, just rebuild and strengthen it back. It's same way, sulfate, paraben-free and a cruelty-free product. For hairs like mine, uh, which gets tangled very quickly at the very ends, it is very frizzy, I could imagine that such a um, hair, good hair mask would do wonders in terms of like rebuilding the structure of it. Um, so what can I say more? It is beautiful. Um, the, the bottle itself, the packaging is absolutely beautiful as well. Would look great in your bathroom and uh, wherever you make it stand. The only downside that I can think of is that it includes um, alcohol in, as one of the ingredients and has perfume, which once again can play an irritant role if you have um, itchy or sensitive scalp. Other than that, that would make a great, great gift. So the next item is from the skincare category and before I go into depth of what this particular item is about, uh, the product is about, I want to put short of disclaimer over here. Um, I was very careful when choosing what to recommend here as a gift because everyone's skin is so so different and if I would just list uh, what I know potentially will work good on my skin, bearing my, in mind all the experiences that I've made with different products. It would not be fair for anyone else because it is pretty tricky to select uh, most of the skincare range as a gift for someone unless they have really expressed their willingness or voiced their choice uh, towards you. So I think um, if you want to go down the lane and anyway get them something from the skincare range, you have to make a safe bet and safe choices. Um, that is why I 
searched long and um, decided to recommend this Summer Friday jet lag mask. Generally, I wanted to talk about the face masks, which are against dullness and hydration. Um, most of those uh, masks cannot do anything uh, wrong or cannot cause any damage to anyone's skin, really. Um, I had one mask in mind which I have in my wish list um, but that was a little bit above our price, price category for this video so I researched an alternative and this is where I landed. Um, this uh, skincare brand is um, pretty new on the market, not very very new but it's like uh, discovery of last few years. Um, the celebrities like Jessica Alba swear on it um, and it's cruelty free and a vegan choice. As the name suggests, uh, the jet lag mask, you can already imagine what properties or what expectations are towards this uh, product uh, from the beginning. It is against dullness and to give more uh, revitalization and hydration um, to your um, sort of tired, stressed out skin. So it has chestnut extract as gentle exfoliator, has also vitamin C to boost the collagen production and you give usefulness and play the antioxidant role for your face, um, has niacinamide the base uh, to fight against the poor appearances or reduce the poor appearances and fight against the imperfections to blur them out as much as possible, and has green tea to smooth and calm down the irritations and, um, and swellings or inflammations on your face. I think it costs 22 or 25 euros and um, comes in very beautiful uh, deep blue tube um, which looks very very beautiful as well um, what I wanted to say as well if you have an opportunity you can combine this with their lip balm um, and get some sets they have beautiful sets um, on their web page and some of them are discounted they were all about 50 euro range so I did not include in the video but if you go ahead in the description box and check out the link you can yourself uh, discover more uh, for yourself so the last pick for today's video is the Louboutin eyeshadow. Now guys, I think you cannot go wrong with eyeshadows as a gift. Uh, it's just like lipsticks, you cannot have too many of them. They are all different in terms of like texture, how they apply, how they are packaged, etc, etc. Um, so this one, especially the Louboutin one, is very distinct in its packaging. First of all, it looks like a nail polish, but obviously it's not. It has brush on one side and the product in another. It comes in a variety of colors, both in um, matte and metallic finishes. Um, most of them are sold out on their web page, where it's priced uh, with 50 USD dollars. I'm gonna link the Louboutin um, web page down below, but also the Netta Porter page where I found different colors still available. My personal pick is the metallic one in nude color because I love the look of it. It has this very very fine shimmer, so fine that it almost acts like as a highlighter. So if you put the very little bit on your index finger and just put in the inner eye area, it's gonna brighten up your eye. It looks brilliant, but obviously you can use it, it as a normal eyeshadow, an entire lid and go on full glimmer um, look for the holiday season that's gonna look brilliant as well. And the matte uh, formula, they say that is very long-lasting. Long it can work as a primer, so you can build up with other eyeshadows that you have at home or um, can work as a standalone product itself. As sold, it comes in nude, in grey, in antique rose, black, green, in a wide variety of colors um, and is based on the swatches and uh, applications that I've seen online, it is very, very pigmented. So you're getting the value of what you're paying for. And at the very end, who would not want to have an eyeshadow from Louboutin? If you don't have shoes, you're at least gonna have something from their makeup line, which is brilliant as well. And let's be honest, it's not your average eyeshadow, it's anyway from Louboutin. Um, it's bougie and makes perfect gift for holidays. So guys, I hope you loved my choices. I tried to be very concise and don't include lots and lots of products in here because I no, it can be very very overwhelming i wanted it to be short but on point and i hope i've achieved that i thank you for your time and for watching until very end if you're not subscribed until now please click the subscribe button down below and check rest out of the content i'm gonna see you in my next one